another episode of the meaty sweats. <laughs> <laughs> another, I'm not swirl, we're just sweating meats. <laughs> sweat meats. Uh, episode of As the Beer Swirls. I'm Dan. I am Mike Dan. <laughs> What are we drinking? <laughs> uh, certainly not French onion soup, my friend. No. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. No, uh, this is on. from the Levante Brewing Company. <laughs> Look at that label. That, Great I label. love that label. I, I love, love the it. color. I have an affinity for purple, uh, as one would say. Oh, yeah. Right here from yeah, we got the, this. the wonderful... Miss Angie, uh, Angie's uh, Fluid Arts. Yeah, she, uh, great looking paint we got back there. Uh, she's like, so you got black and yellow at the Hux. Yeah, what's uh, the color you want? Is it purple? Oh, yeah, it looks okay. great with the purple. So. All right, All right. Um, so yeah, this is the Purple Pine Drops, a double dry hopped session IPA. I like the word session. Oh, I know you do. Um, so this is 5.5% ABV. All right. Hops, Strata and Simcoe. Ooh. Uh, Canada, I like it Simcoe. says... Philly six, D backs five, hashtag fourteen eleven slash twenty. That's that's a cricket uh, score. Uh, again, I, I I just don't understand the the date system here. I don't understand. I really got sports no. reference. I really got no. Um, well, yeah, sure you get it. In fact, right now, ironically enough, Phillies and D backs, mm -hmm. uh, ALCS. Oh, okay. Now is. Uh... Or NLCS. John Crook still oh, playing NLCS. on the Phillies? NLCS, NL, yeah, sorry. Is he still a, a Philly? John Crook? Yeah. Uh, Taking swings at Randy Johnson's team. John Crook, wow. What I think of when I think of the Phillies is like uh, Lenny Dykstra. Yeah, I was going to say, the only two players, I, oh, well, Mike Schmidt. I think I'm Mike, oh, Mike Schmidt. Schmidt yeah. But yeah, Dykstra and Crook, yeah, that's, that's the cards I had. <laughs> oh, I got some floaties. Ooh, floaties, eh? Floaties. Well, good thing we stored these properly. We got floaties in the kiddie pool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bunch of floaties coming the, ki in. the kiddie pool of IPAs. Oh, but yeah. And by kiddie, I mean all the schmucks who wait in line for beer. Who would do such a thing? Fools. Fools, I say. Not me. Uh, yeah, that looks juicy. Uh, kind of pale. Uh, super hazy, foamy white head on it. Um... Looks like a pale ale. Again, a lighter body. But yeah, oh, you yeah. got you got all your you got your collection bin down there. Just with all the <laughs> I like it's a collection bin. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> there are so hey, good to know because we have more Levante beers and we know there might be some floaties in there. Yeah, yeah, I can know. It's uh, it's getting rolling. My help with the meat sweats. <laughs> good news, folks. <laughs> I'm smelling something. Hey, hey, it's coming back. It's coming back. Hmm. <clears throat> Hey now, that's uh, that's floral. It's floral, but I'm getting a, I'm getting a whopping, a whopping amount of pineapple. Just okay, <laughs> superstar. I, I get some pithy pineapple. Don't you come that, over that's here with a, your pithy pineapple? That is a dry, bitter kind of smelling beer. I just love the can. I just ripped that pineapple right out of the ground and pulled yeah. some of the ground. Ooh, over. holy shit! I get. Steak. I, no, I just okay. got, I got like, a, just a killer strawberry right there. Oh, okay. But then it went away. <laughs> just a, a hint. It was a hint. It was a hint. All right. Let's yeah, it smells good. Let's Cheers. taste it and talk about it. Thanks, and, they yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we we spent way, way too much time. We wait too long. too much. Jeez. We wonder why our videos are 15 minutes long and eight minutes in we haven't Who even tasted the damn thing. It's not even a stout. <laughs> Dude, God. It's not stout? No. It could be. Oh, it's, that's got a lot of flavor. That a is a punch. It's a yeah, it's a bitter juice. Like that is a very impactful, juicy beer with a really nice bitterness on Dude, it. Dude, I'm telling you, for me, there's like this orange pineapple strawberry combo. Just the, it punches it as soon as you it's like pow, right in the front of the forefront of the palate. It it's a very nice smoothie. Like, it's a smoothie without being a smoothie sour. Like, I think that's what the fruit is doing. It drinks like a 5.5% all day. Um, but the impact of the flavor and the impact, like, there's a really nice, like, yeast character to it, too. Like, mm -hmm. it's it's got that kind of that sweet, like, vanilla kind of tang to it. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoy this. So I am, here's, here's 
the, the truth. Oh, we're getting real. We are getting real. I am a sucker for like the super low ABV IPAs, like session oh, IPAs. That's what it said that it like, but, session. That's... But like huge flavor. Like Oh, yeah. Like the uh, more impactful you can yeah. get at such a low ABV. Like other half, they're like, you know how they have the all everything series? Mm-hmm. They do the small everything. And it's yeah. Like 4.7. And it's like, boom, an assault of flavor on yeah. you. And I'm like, yeah. That's what I want. I want that huge flavor, and I want to be able to function in the morning and not yeah. wake up with the meat sweats from... Can't have it. You know, it's just... And you won't. It's no good. No good. You're, you're... Standards are up here. That's what he expects from these low session <laughs> Post this on IG. Hashtag meat sweats. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to. Uh, yeah, like, I think this is a very well-made beer. Uh, it does everything you want, and uh, it being as impactful as it is for a session IPA... I would crush a four-back to this. So there's a moderate amount of carbonation to this. I don't want people looking at this thing it's like super creamy because it's not. No, there is a good amount of carbonation. It's not um, it's not thin by any means. It's like high, light-bodied, maybe low side and medium, but that carbonation breaks everything up, makes it real spritzy. I got to say, this is like what, our, our second beer from Levante that we've mm-hmm. had from the Good Joe. Um, Very impressed so far. I don't think... I gotta tell you, so far, if I'm going to Levante and I'm there, I'm like, give me a pint of this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm looking for their low ABV, I, the pale ales, IPAs. I mean, they're this is good. You know what I'm getting now? Uh, orange juice from a box. Like, boxed orange juice. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, yeah, I can see that. This is good. This is good. I like it a lot. For this? Mm-hmm. In the world of the session IPAs, mm-hmm. I, I give this a, I give it a four four. Yeah, I, I'm right up there with you. I'll give it a four three. This is fantastic. Like another great beer from this brewery. Um, there, like there was a chance this could have been very lacking, like yeah, in, in so many areas, but it just it fooled us. It fooled all of you out there. You, it you're fooled like, you. You like five and a half percent. Me. It's gonna be this Jerry. light, just non-existent, flavorless. Void of an IPA? It was not. No. No such thing. No, my friend. All right, gang. Well, they're on the radar now, so. Uh, down in the description below, uh, get the link tree, all the socials. Hit us up. Uh, Joe, thank you so much thank for you. The, the beverage. Really appreciate um, this. Can't wait to dive into if more. If you ever give us more beer again, I, I'll take. Let, I'll take. Let these games. be a blueprint for what we would like. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.